You look strong today, Basim. Keep training. Steady, Basim. Steady. Leave! I've seen enough. We will try again tomorrow. I felt fine. I can see it in your body. You lose focus too easily. The leap of faith is a crucial step on your path to initiation. It is one of the Brotherhood's first and most sacred rites. To perform it successfully, you must first center your mind, body, and spirit. Embrace the fear, quiet it, find a stillness, and let go. Yes, Master. Let's return to the camp. May I ask you something? You may. Back in Anbar, at the palace, I witnessed a meeting between the Khalifa and five masked men, order members. The Khalifa was meant to protect the object they discovered, but he knew nothing of their plans for it. He did not even know them by name. How does the most powerful man in Baghdad bend such a fearful knee to the faceless? The order has held dominion over such men and their empires for centuries by convincing them of their truth, that they are the natural arbiters of the world. The Khalifa was but their puppet, and the same will be true of whomever succeeds him. The entire Khalifa is under their influence. Okay. Basim, speak with Fulav and see if he needs help. We will continue your training later. Yes, Master. Have you seen Mentor Rehan in camp? He is preparing to receive the Tahari emissary, Master. Thank you. Good day, Tabit. Hello, Basim. What troubles you? Truthfully, I am frustrated. The Order has only grown stronger in Baghdad since the death of the Khalifa, and we are stuck on this mountain. Mentor Raihan surely knows what he is doing. Maybe I should trust more. Have you seen Fulad? Probably at his office, as usual. Anyways, I must get back to work. Araka <laughs> lahikan. Ah, what is this in the corner? Here, a small design. It is my signature, so you know I created this, and not Al Hassan, or worse, Abu Jafar. I just you understand, Wadan. Ah, Basim, how are you? Yes, Enkidu, food is coming. He is intelligent, and intelligence is supposed to rhyme with patience. Reminds me of someone. Have you been speaking to Master Roshan? Have patience, be kind to your progress. I will take this to heart. Roshan asked me to come see you? Ah, yes. Rebecca needs leather strips. Can you fetch those from the storeroom? I shall, Fulad. Araka lahekan. Rebecca needs leather strips from the camp storehouse. I must find those for her. That is not it. It is hard to find anything in here.
No, that is not a strip of leather. These forces within the Caliphate are beginning to put pressure on us. Forces? You mean the Order, Raban? I... can only speak of what I know, Yasadari. The Caliph wishes to nullify the rebels, and if you persist in giving them support, we cannot assure you protection from any Caliphate response. The rebels supply us with information in Baghdad. Without them, we are blind. Be that as it may, Governor Muhammad is very committed to showing that he can end this rebellion swiftly. <laughs> I do not doubt that. I came to warn you. Things are moving fast in Baghdad. You may have to act sooner than expected. I hear you, Arban. So the Tahirids who govern these lands are the only thing standing between Alamut and a full-scale attack. A fragile peace. How long will it last? How does construction go? Uh, it is taking longer than we expected, Yasaidi. That must be frustrating. Uh, Mentor Ryan is a wise man, but he speaks of this mountain as if it was destined that we build here. We have patience and follow his guidance. Master Roshan tells me I must not be in a hurry to rush back to Medina as Salam. I would not hurry at all. Baghdad is different now. It is very dangerous. Rebecca? Tassim, Tassim. Are you just wandering the camp aimlessly now? No, I have this leather for you. Will it do? Apparently, you've moved past the wooden swords. I protested, but Roshan insisted. Here is your dagger. And your sword. I am proud to have worked on them. This blade has character. Why would I make anything less than unique? I am in your debt. I was not expecting new weapons today. Repay me by using it on the Order. Make them feel the sharpness of its character. Roshan said you had further training today. Show her that new sword of yours. I look forward to it.
How does training go, ya sadiqi? Noor showed me a new way to grip my knife, and it has improved my accuracy greatly. If you throw it just so, it sails through the air, swift and true. Shall I remind you how to use a knife? Ya yeah, Elahi, well done. You have inspired me to train harder. This is the way, Yasodi. Assalamu alaikum, ya sadiqi. Walaikum assalam. Did Fulab send you? No, he did not. And you're not here to help move these rocks? I am quite sure that was not me. I do not mean to be rude, but I have no time to talk. I must figure this out. I will leave you to it then. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidi. Wa alaikum assalam. I was out in the mountains earlier, and the sight of Fortress Alamut filled me with awe. Mentor Rehan told us to take inspiration from nests the eagles construct in the Alamut Peaks. I can see the influence. Wada'an. Allah. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Good work. Until tomorrow. Basim, time for combat training. I was surprised when Rebecca handed me this. Is a sword not a coarse weapon for a hidden one? As hidden ones, we must become proficient with a number of weapons. You never know how a fight will escalate. Anyone can wield a sword, but how would you use it? I am here to learn that, Master. Are you truly here? Well, yes. I believe so. You are here in body, but are you here in mind and soul? Is this a riddle? No, it is the difference between life and death. Make sure you target and circle around me. Never turn your back on your opponent. Yes, better. Show me your quick stabs first. Good. I'm waiting for you. Yes. Excellent. There are times when we must put more force into our attack to cause more damage. It will leave you exposed, so time it properly. Now go! That's it! Come in strong. Excellent! Now, for defense, you can parry the attacks of your opponent. After a few successful parries, your opponent will be stunned. Try to parry my attacks. Oh, yes! Uh, that's good! Oh, excellent! Some attacks cannot be parried and must be dodged instead. Prepare yourself. Good work. That's the way. Well done. Now, let us try a free fight together. Use what you've learned. That took me by surprise. Well done. Where did that come from? We are done for today, Basim. Why must we stop? I learned nothing from failing. True learning requires action and stillness in equal parts. You have made the action. Now seek the stillness. Do not rush your training. Be patient. Failure is a part of progress. Think on these words, and come back better. Yes, Master. I will. Good. See you later. Ahmed will soon go back to the House of Wisdom. I fear he may end in the middle of a snake's nest. I know how close you are to your brother. We shall learn more soon. Then we can act. Assalamu alaikum, Abu Jafar. It is Ahmed. Ahmed, my apologies. Do not worry. Come and warm yourself by the fire. 
Our brother Ahmad is leaving us tomorrow. To Baghdad, the House of Wisdom. The House of Wisdom? We have been working there, my brothers and I, for years. I still have some things to work on. Science waits for no one. And I will fulfill my duty as a hidden one by becoming your eyes and ears among the scholars. Fulaf, tell Basim the story of the feather. Our tradition of the feather comes from Egypt. They represent the feathers of Ma'at. The feathers of the heron were dipped in the blood of the targets. This would be left for the Lord of the Duat to judge. It is important we remain humble and know our place in the process. We are messengers of justice and not the final judges. Will anyone help me on patrol tonight? I will come with you, Noor. I must get my body moving if I'm to warm up tonight. I am grateful. Let us go. Are you coming, Bassam? Leave the stories for later. You have not had a messenger from Mara in quite a while. May I speak to you in confidence? You know you can. I overheard Mentor Rayhan speaking to an emissary earlier. Mentor Rayhan asked if we may come under attack for dealing with rebels in Baghdad. Are we safe here at Alamut? I do not know. But I pity the people who attack this nest of eagles. How goes the war? Nothing happening at all on Alamut. And I am so hungry. We did not make it to the main canyon. Excellent. We will start there. Thank you. Come, Noor. Follow me. Are you looking forward to your initiation? Yes. It feels like I have been preparing my whole life for this. I could not sleep the night before my ceremony. From excitement and a small bit of fear. We all fear the unknown. But a greater unknown awaits on the other side of initiation. You speak of the Order. I see them as monsters from a tale, hiding in dark corners down dark alleys. The difference is that the Order is real. What do they want? They want... This is Mohja. Magnificent. Soon, you shall have one of your own. Fulav introduced me to an eagle named Enkidu. He said we have much in common, and not in a complimentary way. She sees something. Follow me. Quietly, Basim. Find a place to hide. What is this place? We must be near the camp. We have the element of surprise. Be ready. Quickly. I am behind you. We must strike fast. Agreed. Stay there! Damn you! Have we not 
like the wooden targets, is it? It is not that. This sword. What of it? Mercenaries from Baghdad use these weapons. We must warn the others. Mercenaries from Baghdad. How do you know? Basim recognized the make of the sword. I believe him. Bring him in. How do you know these men were from Baghdad? Growing up on its streets, I have seen their weapons many times. And closely. Behind every mercenary is a man who gave them their orders. Yes, and we must act if we are to learn who that is. We will return to Baghdad, seek Ali ibn Muhammad's help. Ah, oh, of course, Sahib is Zend. He is a dangerous and delusional fool. Maybe so, but he is one of our only allies in Baghdad. We need him, and we need his men. I will go back to Baghdad. Go to Ali. Find out if the Order sent those men. I will. Wafakak Allah. Wafakak Allah. Wada'an. Araka lahiqan.